Hey everyone, it's been a while. I have taken a break, but I'm back and I'm here to share with you some exciting news because there's a new output for Roblox Studio and I'm going to show you how you can enable it if it's not already uh, enabled because if you're watching this in the future it probably already is enabled but at the minute it's a beta feature so it's still um, being tested for bugs etc but it's pretty stable and I'll show you what's new about it and how you can enable it so obviously the um, current output is quite limited in features um, all it does is really display um, errors and you can't there are some things you can't do so you can't print tables you can't uh, well, there's all sorts okay and uh, anyway let's just get into it let's just have a look at the new output so to get it you click on file you click on beta features and um, I just have to say at this point you know beta features are beta for a reason they can break um, and they're not ready for production so it could you know uh, completely break or it could um, it could even do some harm to your Roblox place but that is unlikely but a quick disclaimer um, it's probably not a good idea to do this in a live place maybe just test it out in a in a base plate first but um, if you go into this beta features window and you click on uh, expressive output window you can see that it says expressive UI filter and search and copy paste becomes easier so you click on save um, and then you have to restart studio so I'll come back in a sec and here we are, as if I'm magic, the new output is enabled. And already it does look a bit different. It probably does look better in dark mode. But let me run you through some of the new features. So first thing is that you can now search the output. So if your output was full of messages, you could search for a specific one. And you can see it's highlighting the results here. Uh, obviously, I've searched for a term that is in this line here. So that is the search feature. Now, the next feature I like is that you can show um, only error you can you can choose which messages you want to to show so you could show um, messages so error messages or output messages that come from server scripts or client scripts or from when when you're out of client server mode when you're actually in the edit mode which is what we're in now if you were to only get messages from the command bar or something like that um, and whether you want to see error messages or messages from plugins now I have a lot of plugins that sometimes error and they fill up my output so that's a really really useful um, button for me because I can just hide them because I don't need to know about them so you can choose which output messages you want to appear which is very useful as well as being able to choose whether you want to see errors which are the red ones or the warnings which is basically a yellow version of print you can say warn and then in brackets put your message and it will print out in orange um, in an orange font that's a warning message so you can either have you can choose if you want to show errors warnings information messages so I assume that they're just messages from 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 Roblox Studio or something about um, your game um, and then system messages and log messages so you can choose which of these you want to see so it's useful if you have got a, an output and it's full of messages and you only just want to see the errors you can just deselect them all and only select the errors so that's another really good feature there uh, now the next feature as I said a part of the search you can you can decide if you want the search to match the case exactly so if, if I said asset delivery and it's, it's highlighted it here but I wanted it to match the case and then I started doing it in capital letters you can see it doesn't it doesn't find it because it's matching the case uh, and we've also got match whole word so if you can see it matches the word asset but if I was to say delivery it no longer is um, highlighted because it's looking for the entire message asset deliver and there is no asset deliver uh, but there's an asset delivery so that's matching the whole word and then we've also got um, regular expression I'll put my hands up I don't know what that one is um, I'll get back to you on that one uh, you've also got a destroy button so you click that and it wipes your output you can also do that by pressing Control K or command K to clear the output and you've also got the ability to show the timestamp on messages whether you want to show messages only so um, sorry select messages only uh, and whether you want to expand tables now this is the biggest one for me it's the biggest one for me because if you want to print a table right um, let's just say local my tab um, my tab equals and then you know we have um, a few things in this table a b c and then you want to print my tab well 
you wouldn't be able to do this um, normally because it would say table and there would be a long string of um, uh, text and that would be the memory location of the table because Roblox just would not be able to print out tables for some reason but now boom you can print the table and you can expand it to see everything inside of it so that's really really useful um, as well you can scroll by pressing control and scrolling or command and scrolling to make it bigger or smaller and you can expand them by default so I just had to expand the table and the next time you do it it's automatically expanded so uh, I'm a real fan of that and if you want the memory address back you can just select it there but you can see uh, here this is what I was on about this is what you only used to get when you printed out a table but now you can see the entire contents of the table this is really really useful if you're printing out something like a data store which has got, got lots of sub tables inside of it so a table inside a table you just want to see the whole table because you want to make sure that your your data saved correctly um, I'm, I'm a big fan of this output window very very big fan so um, a massive well done to Roblox as well you can um, you can drag each window uh, or each tab to make it bigger or smaller so a real well done to Roblox on making this output window I'm a big fan of it and I want to know what you think as well um, get your suggestions if you have any more for the output in the description there's also a post about it on the dev forum but I think I've covered everything that we need to do uh, so so yeah Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope the video was useful and don't forget that beta features um, if, if it is still in beta it might be enabled by default for everyone by the time you're watching this video uh, They are still a little bit unstable So it might be a good idea not to use them in games where you, you want to lose everything Or you might just want to take a backup of your game in a separate place in case something happens and, and you lose it But it's been pretty stable for me so far. I've not experienced uh, actually I have experienced a small issue where uh, render stepped uh, events seem to run a little bit slower and start to lag a little bit so that's why I'm not having the output enabled I'm, I'm sticking with the old one for now but when it's in production it's going to be a really powerful output and a, and, a, and a much needed upgrade to debugging in Roblox so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed drop a like if you did and I'll see you in the next one cheers